let's talk about your most valuable asset. And by that, I mean your most valuable marketing asset, which is your email list. Now, maybe you already know this because you've been marketing online for a period of time. But even if you already know that an email list is incredibly valuable, you need to know all the ways to use it to generate more money in your business from it, as well as more traffic, which is what we're going to go over in this course. Now, having an email list is the number one most important thing you can do for your business and for any business. And all businesses can find a way to build an email list. So it doesn't matter if you're selling e-commerce products like women's sweaters or some kind of woodworking tools or any market where you're actually shipping and selling e-commerce products. In many markets, a lot of people think, well, an opt-in list doesn't really apply to my business. That's only for info product businesses or for you know specific businesses that have certain types of content around them, like you know advice on how to survive in the woods or self-defense techniques. Well, it's not true at all. All businesses, all products, have content related to whatever the topic is or interest. If you go on Amazon.com, the biggest e-commerce site in the world, and you look at any product category, you look at any products, just read the reviews and it'll give you ideas for content, what people are talking about and how they use the product, why they use the product, what problem it solves. And you'll find all kinds of ideas for you to create content around whatever that product or topic is. So I don't want to hear the excuse that, oh, my business isn't relevant for having an email list because it's not true. The internet is all content. That's what the internet is. So you need to find a way to tie content into building a list to be able to reach out to prospects, follow up with them, do campaigns, which I'm going to teach about in this lesson, and do other things to not only generate more traffic in your business, but to make more revenue. So you need to create some kind of content that's related to the products and services that you sell and simply give it away in exchange for an email subscription. That's the transaction there. They're buying this free giveaway by giving you their email address, giving you permission to email them. And it's incredibly powerful to have the ability to email somebody. Uh, today on the internet, cycles are longer for getting people to buy. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in this module. There's just so much going on online that there's, you know, there's so many options, there's so many distractions, there's so many pe people marketing to all the different markets that usually people don't, you know, see an ad or see a listing or see a Google ranking. Go, oh, this is what I need. Click, click. I'll take that. Click buy. I'll take two. Click buy. I'm done. Congratulations. They came to your site for the first time and they gave you a bunch of money. It doesn't usually work that way. Typically, they may come to your site. They read about what you do. They don't know if they should trust you yet. They want to, you know, read more about what you have to offer, more about what your customers think, you know, more about how long you've been around, if they can trust you. So people go through a process before they buy something online. Now, certainly there are impulse buys. People could click an ad and immediately buy right away in 10 minutes. That happens. But more of what will happen for your market is that people will take a longer period of time to make the buying decision. Now, when I say longer period of time, it doesn't mean months and months. It can sometimes, but it could just mean two or three days. And then they finally say, okay, I'm ready to buy. So having an email list is critical to be able to follow up with people, bring them back to your site. Otherwise, here's your other option. People come to your site and they're like, oh, I'll come back and check this out later. And then you have no direct to active way to reach out and communicate with them to try to bring them back. You have to hope they come back on their own. Well, they've seen a hundred different websites today on any given day. So the odds of them thinking, oh, I'm going to bookmark this site, I'll come back later. Yes, it can happen, but it just doesn't happen often. So having an email list, which we're going to talk about in this module about email marketing tactics, it's so incredibly valuable. I can't stress it enough. Again, maybe you already know this or you've been taught this, but it needs to hit home why your email list is so valuable and all the different ways you can use it to generate money in your business because that's what it's all about. So that's what we're going to cover in this module. Let's talk about why an email list is so valuable today to have in digital marketing and why it's absolutely critical that you have an email list. When I say have an email list, I don't just mean an email list of buyers that you can communicate with. I mean prospects, people that haven't bought from your company yet. So the first thing is, I mentioned this briefly in the overview, sales cycles online are now longer with all the options people have today. You know, several years ago, we'd see more people buying in the first 24 hours than what we see today. Some people take two, three, four, even a, you know, five days or a week before they may buy now. 
So sales cycles have gotten longer and we need that email list, we need the permission to email them, to keep following up with them, to keep telling them why they need what we sell and to keep bringing them back to our site. Follow-up is now critical and it can be automated. Now follow-up, which I just talked about because of a longer sales cycle is important. But another cool thing about follow-up marketing with email is that you can set it up in advance and it'll run on its own. You could actually schedule emails to go out over the next year if you wanted to, and they would go out 365 days after someone opts into your list, and they could get emails however you set them up, one a week, once, one every two days, one every other week. But being able to automate email follow-up is critical for a couple different reasons. One, you don't have to actually go and manually figure out who's been on the list for a week or who just got on the list. All prospects are treated equally as far as their experience of going through your list process. So if you always set it up that the follow-up email number one goes out the next day after they opt into your list, everybody that ever joins the list gets that email the day after they join the list, so on and so forth. But the ability to automate the follow-up process also allows you to keep track of the results. You can keep, it, you can keep track of the conversion rates and you can add more emails to the sequence, you can remove emails from the sequence, you can move around emails in the sequence as you hone in on what structure will make you the most profit, will get you the most results. So it's so powerful that we can set up follow-up sequences and then we can automate them and keep an eye on if you know email number three is bringing us more sales or it's email number five that goes out in three weeks is bringing us sales. So it's very, very important and critical that we can automate this follow-up and track the results. Now you can use your list to create cash on demand. That's the best thing about having an email list. Do you want some more money in your business? Do you want to make some more sales this month? Send an email offer to your list. Send them to a landing page with an offer and make more sales today, right away. If you didn't have an email list, you can't really do this. What are you going to do? Make a post on your blog and say, hey, I'm having a discount today of 20% off if anyone buys before Friday. Well, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with people just so happen to be, you know, coming back to your blog and just so happen to be seeing that, you know, that special offer, that discount. But if you have an email, excuse me, if you have an email list, you can control that and you can create that cash on demand. It's very, very critical. So being able to have a list and the larger the list, technically speaking, the more money you can create on demand. So that is probably the most valuable reason to have an email list is that you can produce sales whenever you need to produce sales. Here's an important point. If all your website traffic stopped coming to your site, if you stopped all the advertising you were doing, if Google blacklisted your site so they weren't sending you any more traffic, if all the traffic that was coming to your website for your business stopped, you'd still be okay if you had an email list because you can directly reach out to those people and generate sales. Incredibly, incredibly important. So I hope you're seeing why an email list is so valuable. Now you can also leverage your list to create a bigger list. And we're gonna learn how to do that in this course. How you can literally use people that are on your list to go and do things and interact with content and other things that you're posting which can then help it have a viral effect or help it rank higher to reach more people that can then get on your list that can then help leverage to reach more people that can get a bigger list. It's just this kind of self-fulfilling, self-feeding process that can help you grow your marketing more and more. So every week that goes by, your marketing distribution is just getting bigger and bigger, hopefully. You have more control over your marketing. By having an email list, especially talked about automating things, you really can control in what order your prospects see different things from you. You know, when you just have a website and people are bouncing around, going to different pages whenever they want, in whatever order they want, coming back on whatever day they want, you don't really have control over that. But by having control over a linear process, in other words, something from point A to point B in a certain order, by having control over that, when the emails go out, what emails are going out, what sequence they go out in. By having control over that, you can control the outcome and you can optimize it to get better results and to make more money in your business. So by being able to control 
that whole flow of when they get the next email, what the email says, what it links to, what it pitches or promotes, or if it's content, it's incredibly powerful to have control over that whole process. As your list grows, so will your revenue in 95% of businesses. This is what's exciting about it. So as you learn in this course to get more and more traffic from ads that we're going to place, but also from organic traffic and content that we create, when we get to the process of running a content factory that I call it, where we're constantly putting out new content, whether we're creating it or we're hiring someone to create it for us, it's not that hard to outsource it and expensively have someone else create it. And our site on a monthly basis, hopefully, is just growing and growing in traffic because we have more and more content out there, and hopefully we're also doing more and more advertising as we can. Well, our email list is going to grow. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, you may start with a list of a 1,000 people in your market, but then you can get to 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, even eventually a million people on an email list some businesses have. Actually, some businesses have email lists of 10 million people. But imagine having a list of, you know, a few hundred thousand targeted people interested in your topic or industry for your business. Like, let's say you sold camping gear like we've talked about before, and you had a list of camping enthusiasts, like 250,000 people. We could release anything related to camping and make a bunch of money by having access to that many people. So I hope you realize an email list is incredibly valuable, and you need to start structuring all your marketing around getting people on that email list.